Welcome everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to, I think it is day 98 off the tip of the day. I cannot believe it's taking months on end to finish like a few tips, but here I am again with the, the day 98 tip of the day. So today I actually wanted to talk about a tip on um, somebody had posted a message on, um, like I had posted a post and somebody had um, posted a message on that post that um, I think this is what Eckhart was saying. Eckhart was saying, focus on the now and tell me what problem do you have in the now? And that person had posted um, say, stating that uh, they're lonely, right? I'm lonely. So this is what I have to say about when, uh, what happens when we say I am lonely. So um, I had given this tip like a while back, maybe it's tip number 10 or 15 or 20. Um, even as I was growing up, what I know of uh, like my mother's mother, my grandmother uh, on my, my maternal grandmother, she was alone by herself. She was living alone by herself. And what I saw was um, um, year after year, a few years, she would have a maidservant. A few years, she would have a maidservant and uh, that maidservant would leave. But I always saw that somehow the universe supported her through somebody coming into her life. She did not have a relationship with her children, which is her two daughters, which is one of them being my mother, but um, somebody had always came into uh, her life to support her. So even without Eckhart's teachings, this is something I knew even without Eckhart's teachings. Now Eckhart always talks about like uh, whether you take Dr. Joe or whether you take Eckhart, they always say, um, uh, Eckhart always says that uh, in this present moment, this is the power, right? The power of now is being, your presence power is the uh, power. So you're not lonely. Your power is being in the present moment and you will find what needs to be done in this moment. But even without knowing that, and Dr. Joe always says the divine always appears. Um, he has, uh, as part of becoming supernatural, he has some affirmations, one of them being uh, the divine always appears um, to me every day or synchronicities happen to me every day. So they are affirmations, right? Um, uh, where he says, um, like the divine is always with us kind of affirmation is always there. So even without those affirmations, because I have that observation that I saw my grandmother always supported, I've always felt supported. Like I never in my life, never ever in my life, even without spiritual teachings, have I ever said I'm lonely. Never, never ever in my life because I have that trust. So I want all of you to, this is my tip for today, is to build that inner trust that no matter, you you can be like the me, and, and my maternal grandmother, if I talk about my mother being um, a certain way, her egoic patterns being a certain way, uh, to being uh, where she was obnoxious, my maternal grandmother was like a few exponentially worse than my mother, right? Because they were just repeating their conditioned patterns. So she was she was mean, like rotten, mean person. And even that person was supported by the universe, right? She always had some maidservant come in. Uh, of course, um, the one thing about them was they were very generous. My, my mother was very, and that generosity has come to me as well. So it's not like um, I don't have good traits from my mother. What, one of them being that generosity. They were very generous souls. 
So uh, she would like uh, get stuff done for the maid servant and everything. But anyway, out of that, I always have trusted that the universe will support me. And um, since 2005, year 2005, now it is 2023, I have had, uh, I'm in a country, I'm in a different country. I have no family here, right? I'm alone by myself. And I've raised my son as a single parent by myself. But I never felt lonely. I never said, oh, I don't have anybody to take care of him. Because I see, I saw the divine in everybody. Like if his coaches were taken, I mean, he was practicing. He had something involved. My son had some uh, involvement in playing baseball or uh, doing something that, that, like going to practice or the private coaching. I saw each one of them, the fact that the daycare uh, picked them up, like the bus came, the bus came and picked them up. I didn't have to rush back home. I could go pick him up from the daycare. I saw each and every person as the divine, right? That was helping me, supporting me. So I never, ever felt lonely. So please look at that within yourself, that how were you supported all your life? Somebody or the other came, helped raise your child. You didn't do it all by yourself. Something or the other came in and supported you or uh, helps you with your home needs for your home. But that was a job that supported you. Some the um, some uh, kind of gift came to you. Somebody paid paid you extra money, or somebody gave you a gift that you needed. Right? Look at the support that the universe has provided to you. In that appreciation and gratitude, more of that will come. The moment you say, "I am lonely," right? The moment you say, I'm lonely, what is going to happen is you're going to say, this is me. This is the ego. The ego is saying, I'm lonely, right? This is me and there is all these others. And that's the other. And this is me, the lonely one. And we have caused a separation. The moment we cause a separation, Things that need to rise, like uh, Abraham Hicks says, the cooperative components that need to arise to help you will not arise. So look how damaging, it almost is your saboteur, uh, you know, we talked about uh, archetype, it almost is your saboteur archetype telling you, I am lonely, that's playing out, the saboteur archetype playing out in the I am lonely because it's sabotaging your knowing, your true knowing is when you are in that void, when you are in that stillness that Eckhart talks about, that you are connected to anything and everything. You are everything and everyone. And that's my tip for today is you will not even realize how many, I mean, if you were to ask me, I, I would be like talking about it for an hour, hour or two, or maybe a day or two about how many, how many events in my life can I show you where people have strange, pure strangers have arisen and have helped me out, right? As a human being, one human being to another without any spiritual work. And now with the spiritual work, it's like exponential. Like the, the way the universe is coming up and rising to help is unbelievable, indescribable. So that is the trust I want all of you to develop. The, the thought, I'm lonely, understand that it's your saboteur coming up and saying, I'm lonely, right? And know that you are interconnected with everything. The, um, Dr. Eben Alexander calls it Indra's net. Go look up Indra's net on um, Google and realize how the world is connected. Like the, they talk about the monarch butterfly flapping its wings in uh, Mexico and a tsunami actually arising in Indonesia, right? 
th that kind of interconnectedness. There is pure, pristine um, love and that is available to you in those moments of grace where pure strangers arise and help you. And they will, if you trust the universe, the universe will come arise and help you out. I know, I know for a fact because um, my son now is 26. I mean, I've, uh, I don't know how I, he, he was raised without any help. There was no, without any help, like um, me asking for a family member to help. It's just like the universe just arose and I can't even like with a blink of an eye, it seems like those 10, 15 years have passed by and no, not a thought that I am lonely. It ever arose that there's nobody here to support me. Never did it arise for me, but the trust, and I have developed the trust all the more with Dr. Joe's teachings where he says, the divine is present everywhere. Um, the divine appears every day for you, right? So use that affirmation. The divine appears for me every day and uh, drop the I am lonely. Uh, because the moment we say I am lonely, our ego has taken over and uh, we have separated ourselves from what what is the rest of the world or the cooperative components that are supposed to come arise and help us, right? So the moment the I am lonely starts, find all those moments that you can be grateful for where strangers arose and helped you out. So have an appreciation and maybe your gratitude journal, maybe all my years, um, past years, the 20, 30, 40, 50 years you've lived on this planet, find all the points where strangers arose and helped you out, okay? So that's my tip for today. And that, that'll that give that affirmation, right? Like the moment you realize, oh, the, uh, when I was 15, this happened and this stranger helped me out. Um, literally, okay, I'll give you a stranger kind of an example, right? How, how mind boggling this can be. I'll give you one small example, how strangers can help you out. So um, when I was 18 years old, I was...